So far, we have considered two main routes of transmission. One is infection by coming into contact with something that has the virus on it. The other is infection through droplets emitted in sneezes and coughs. But some experts say there is possibly a third infection route. Experts are now looking at this new infection mechanism as the key to preventing the further spread of the virus. ただの会話の中で感染が広がってとかある程度の距離があっても、それが広がっているような、そういった事例を見ると、通常の飛沫感染だけでは説明できない。非常に小さな粒子ということで、マイクロメーターの粒子、マイクロ飛沫感染等で
This simulation uses only micro droplets. Five minutes later, 10 minutes later. Twenty minutes later, the micro droplets are still floating in place. But there is a way to prevent this stagnation of micro droplets. Opening windows and increasing air circulation is believed to be effective. When you open a window, micro droplets are quickly swept away. They're very small and light, so any airflow will get rid of them. できればですね、2箇所開けて風の流れを作ってあげるということが大事。それが1時間に1回でもいいから、そういうようなことをやることによって感染のリスクというのはかなり下げることができるようになるんじゃないかなというふうに思います。